Raw is live tonight, and our general manager has put together one heck of a card for this show. Hey, everybody, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and and me, Byron Saxton, are here tonight live. What happened? We couldn't get Booker tonight. We couldn't get Otunga. We couldn't get Coach. Uh, I, I get it, guys. I get it. We love you, Byron. wonder what this is about. With him, you know this is going to be good. I'm sure the WWE Universe is dying to know what's going on. Well, okay. Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. Always the aggressor and not afraid to show it, guys. Okay. Message received, and I, for one, can't wait. The ante has officially been raised here. There's no doubt that everyone in this capacity arena is behind that. Looking at tonight's card, we really do have all hands on deck for this one. Get ready for... Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. It'll be the Ascension in a match that will be etched in the record books. And here we go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. Guys, there's oh, nothing man. like a good old-fashioned tag team match. And he's a proud guy. That nice. title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow.
What a stomp. Good grief. He's starting to stagger a bit. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount the offense soon. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinball, submission, countout, or disqualification. Looks like he's starting to tire. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. Victor created the fall of man for the Ascension to use and precisely determined where to hit their opponent so the opponent feels maximum pain. That is a disturbed individual. This is going to be big, one way or another. The fall of man takes opponents down for the count no matter how big they are. You can almost see an ominous smile on Victor's face after a superstar has been pulverized by the maneuver. Just look at what happens to every opponent's body, how they... Noam Dar making his move! Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no! Super Ooh, nasty impact. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. Beautiful technique. Boom! <laughs> oh, boy, he is rolling. Might only be hard keeping Noam Dar in this match. I mean, it looks to me like he's almost completely out. He is hurt. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is pretty tough to watch. To the back of the neck, Scott is sickle. This one's far from over. Still a lot more fight left. But I don't know how much... And this is going to be it! One, two, and I can't believe this match is still going on. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. No, he reverses it. The shoulders are down. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Parker's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit, now he's ready to go again. Nailed it. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. 
And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He might have it. Oh, he's looking for the win. And that's it. This one is over. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here are your winners, Victor and Connor, The Ascension. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. It'll be Carmella against Lana. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Drop down. She might have it. I don't think this is going to do it. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. So good here, guys. She's gonna need to find a way to fend off some of oh, this man. offense and quickly. She's absolutely off her game right now, and if she doesn't get it together, her night's gonna be over. Leap from slap! Oh no, you didn't. Yes, 
he did. Carmella. Super kick! She is just so dominant. If you remember, we got a cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Still too fresh. She comes up big with the reversal. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Oh, what a nasty, nasty move. Myron noted how Carmella was the final pick in the 2016 draft. I think in a lot of ways, seeing more than 50 superstars get selected before her gave Carmella a bit of a chip on her shoulder. Yeah, it definitely motivated her goal. And fast forward less than two years later, Carmella became SmackDown Women's Champion. Talk about a meteoric rise. You gotta believe this one's over. Uh oh, here so kick. Man, this one is over. If it doesn't end the match this time, it much. She goes for the cover. The pinfall and the victory. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Almost forgot about this one. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here is your winner, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando. We'll see if the next match can equal that last one. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents. These superstars have waited for this moment for a while. Now, it's go time. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Boom! Harsh impact. Ask a member of the WWE Universe about the four horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, both groups actually met face to face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda Rousey, Jessamyn Duke, and Marina Shafir were there to root on Shayna Baszler, and they met with WWE's group. Rousey told them, quote, you name the time, you name the place. Two of you brought up the collision between WWE's and MMA's four horsewomen, courtesy of Shayna Baszler. In the time since that showdown, Ron Rousey has joined WWE, while the other two MMA horsewomen have begun NXT training. 
Guys, that showdown looms ever closer. And I, for one, cannot wait. Not only because we'll see some of the best MMA and WWE competitors meet in the ring, but I'd love to see Baszler put Sasha Banks in the Kirifuda clutch. And she's clearly not getting paid by the hour. Shayna Baszler, no problem getting out. And I think you can tell by the look in her eye that Brie Bella is preparing to end this match right now. Shayna Baszler is no stranger to championships, having amassed titles in independent... She fights out. If that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael, she is on fire. Ooh. Oh, straight forearm. Three can't be stopped right now. Going back to that night that Shayna Baszler became NXT Women's Champion, I think it's pretty telling that Ember Moon didn't ask for a rematch. Ember Moon... A woman who embraces a gothic lifestyle was scared to fight the submission magician again. Shayna Baszler making her move. This might be it. Oh, my. You got And Shayna Baszler tries the early cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. It's way too early. She's looking at it. This could end it in a hurry. Oh, perfectly executed, guys. All that's left now for Shayna Baszler is to finish this. Dodges that one. And Shayna Baszler evades that one. And what a reversal from Brie Bella. Looking for the win. Bella Buster! Here's her chance. And a pin attempt. And the shoulders come up. She's still in this one. And Brie does a bit of trash talking. She dodges that one. Sustained by Brie Bella, she could be on her way out. This might just be the end of the road for her here, guys. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Ooh, what impact. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Ah, oh, backbreaker. She goes for the cover. She got the shoulder up in time. She's still in this one. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Beautiful technique. Warm up the bus. This one is over. One, two. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. The yes lock is in. Oh, the oh. yes lock is in. Unreal. Yes lock. She can pick up the win here, guys. You don't want to get locked into that move for a long time. We're looking at complete domination here. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. Oof! Big reversal for her there. Showing some quickness there. And then lights out. DDT connects. Got the shoulders down. Two. Too close for cover. Just barely, but it counts. What a stomp. Good grief. 
harsh impact, but she gets an attack mode. Look out. Oh, Brie Bella able to avoid damage. Taking a page out of the Daniel Bryan. To leave a mark permanently. Now, she just needs to finish her off. Oh, the yes lock is cinched in. Is he yes lock. He's back in full control now. Talk about a painful move. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. Oh, my. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Nailed it. Looking to end it here. This could be it. The resolve this woman is showing right now is absolutely unreal. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Vicious knee. And that one does the job. It definitely dropped her, but I'm not so sure it's over yet. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Trash talking. Of course, that's a unique suplex. Wrist clutch suplex. Perfect. Three can't be stopped right now. Comes up big with the reversal. Here comes Bree. Oh, those kicks look familiar. Yeah, don't they? The yes kicks from Brie Bella. That'll rock you. That's all she wrote, fellas. I see where she's going with this. Some good technique right there. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding, who knows what will happen next? Shayna Baszler making her move. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Ooh. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Oh, I'm going right after the neck. She's got it now. She goes for the cover. One, two. Where is she finding the strength to continue? What a match. She's turning the tables. Ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Ooh, what impact. That should do it. There's the tap. There's the tap. This one's over. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Look at her go. This was another great moment. Who could forget this? And last but not least, 
There was this. Here is your winner, Shayna Baszler. That's a big win. Although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. We'll see if the next match can equal that last one. Singles match on tap next. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one. -on -one. Mano, mano, ouch. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. The Pirate Princess Kyrie Sane has won championship gold everywhere she set sail during her illustrious career. Yeah, that includes becoming the first ever May Young Classic winner. Sane may look sweet, but she is a force to be reckoned with in the ring. What a stomp, good grief. Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Oh, look at this. Stumbling some now. The we champion go. into the cover. That wasn't even close to three. Too soon. What a stomp. Good grief. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. And look at the quickness by saying. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. And she turns it around on her. Looking for the exclamation point. A lot of people are saying the champion. Oh, what impact! Here's her chance. Paige is in trouble. The champion into the cover. She got the shoulder up in time. Gonna take more than that. Look at this. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favor here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. Paige just barely gets out of the way. Paige with a Paige Turner. This is all but over.
She counters before it's too late. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now, and she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Bringing it back into the ring. Kyrie Sane, big move. Now, the champ needs to hurry here. Can that beat Paige? Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Paige with the excellent move to get out. And look at the quickness by Sane. And here we go from the German suplex spike. Kyrie Sane, big move. Oh, man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. Nope, she releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. Penny predicament. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. That match is worth another look. Here we go. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here is your winner, and still NXT Women. Catch your breath, because the next match should be every bit as good. Singles match on tap next. I think there's going submission time. Doesn't appear to be locked in very well. What a stop! Good grief! Beautiful technique. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Man. Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. Well, this Man. certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania and carry it all the way to next year's WrestleMania. But Brock Lesnar did that by winning the Universal Championship from Goldberg in 2017 and retaining it against Roman Reigns in 2018. Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship dominance in back-to-back -back WrestleManias. You have to go back 30 years for similar circumstances at the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, but even though both Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan won WWE Championships at WrestleMania and held the title until next year's show, both men were dethroned after one year on top. Brock's the only person in WrestleMania history to ever win the title one year, hold it all 12 months, and then retain it. In addition to owning one of the most impressive championship resumes, Byron, we should also mention that Brock Lesnar has a Royal Rumble match to his credit. You're absolutely right, Michael. In 2003, Lesnar last eliminated The Undertaker to forever etch his name in history 
as a Royal Rumble match victor. Gets out of the way of that one. Angelo Dawkins. <laughs> He's in complete control now. More on Brock Lesnar's. Can he score the pin? Digging deep for a kick out. <laughs> yeah, try again. There is no way that is going to topple the Beast Incarnate. I got to agree with you, Corey, on that one. No, he reverses it. Ring rattling. Oh, he turns it around. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Angelo Dawkins just too quick. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Hooked up. Submission time. Is he done? No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! A lot has been endured by Angelo Dawkins, and he could be done very soon. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. He has got to fight back. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. the mark. Alludes that one. Oh, nasty impact. Lesnar starting to teeter. I mean, his hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. It looks to me like he may have lost focus there for a minute. He was really cruising for a while. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Oof. Byron, he's got the sleeper locked in. The sleeper hold is locked in. This could be it. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. He's looking at it. is over. But now, can Lesnar make the most of this? Huge toss. What a stop. Good grief. On, he dodges out of the way. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the Beast. Close quarters, what a strike. Angelo Dawkins just too quick. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, you might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Rolling Nebo! 
This just ain't gonna do it. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. What's he doing? Hooked him up. Angelo Dawkins just too quick. An amazing match so far, guys, but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Oh, right to the face. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Tell me about it. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this with an F5. Bang! Here's his moment, Michael. But now, can Lesnar make the most? Brock Lesnar gets the win in an impressive fashion. Now let's look back at that amazing action. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. We all knew this situation was going to explode sooner rather than later. for impact. Here it comes. F5. Oh, my. Lesnar back in firm control of this match. Lesnar seems confident here and with good reason. Enough of the prelims. Time for the main event. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready.
I wonder whose life and career Shane's here to make miserable tonight. Oh, don't start, Corey. Commissioner Hothead is out of his mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They don't want anything to do with Shane O'Mac anymore. Introducing the challenger from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! Introducing the champion from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Shane McMahon! Ah, oh, yeah, it's go time. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Sends the opponent to the outside. Here we go. What's up? Tope con Hilo. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. Oh, what's it gonna be? He wants no part of the outside. Oh, what a slam. What a stop! Good grief! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Beautiful technique. This might be it! Oh my! The champion into the cover! Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Balor shooting out of that pinfall like a bullet. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering... Here he goes! There's no way he's giving up now. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. Finn Balor is in position. He pumps impact. Oh, it's over. He leaves no doubt right there. We've seen champion. <laughs> Head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Nailed it. Back inside the ring now. Brought in the hard way. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky talk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> Yours, he's got him covered. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? Not even close.
And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even... Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. The champ's in a bad way now, Cole. And Finn Balor might have just secured the victory. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point. And I think it's only going to... Not now. Not now. Oh, no. Oh, that's a combination. Bam. Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment. Shane McMahon into the cover. What is keeping this competitor going? How in the world? Raw has been the site of some of the biggest matches on sports entertainment history, and this match is sure not to disappoint. Championship on the line. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. is over. And here's another peek of the moves you saw in that match. Some pretty good give and take in this match as these highlights show. He ain't playing here. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. up the victory here tonight. I don't know if there's anybody in the back that can actually unseat this dominant champion. Thanks for tuning in for this championship match and what an amazing match it was.